Hi everyone, I'm Maddie and welcome back to my channel. By now, you probably know that I really love bees. My mum and I, we keep a hive, it's just over there, of about 40,000 girls who pollinate the flowers around us and they make delicious honey. But not everyone's lucky enough to have the space or the time to dedicate to a hive. So today, I'm going to show you a way that you can help the bees that come and visit you, no matter where you live. Bees will travel about two miles in search of flowers with nectar and pollen for food. Especially in towns and cities, this can be a really long, exhausting journey before they even find something to eat. So you can help them out by making them a bee cafe to help them along the way. It doesn't matter if you've got a small garden or a big garden or no garden at all. All you need is a space for a small container with a couple of cheap and easy to find materials. The first thing you want to do is have a good think about where you're going to put your bee cafe. It's got to be somewhere easy for the bees to get to, but also somewhere that you can get to so you can freshen it up and give it a tidy once in a while. So you could use a hanging basket like this one. Maybe you could get a tub that sits on a windowsill if you're short of space. Uh, but today I'm just going to use a big old pot that can go on a patio. Next you want to gather all of your bits together. I've already got my pot but I'm also going to use a shallow tray. If you wanted to you could just make one out of the bottom of a juice carton. I've collected some stones in different sizes from the garden. I've got some water in the watering can, some soil and plants and seeds but more about those later. Okay, first we're going to prepare the pot and I'm going to start by tipping in the stones I collected from the garden and these will help with drainage when we eventually water our bee cafe. I'm going to film this with a GoPro so you can see what I'm doing. In goes our stones. Oh, they're so heavy. Make sure you keep just a few stones back and now we're going to fill the pot about two thirds full of compost. Alright, the pot is now ready for plants. Now you could go and buy some from the garden centre or grow them from seeds, but the important thing is that you pick ones that are the bee's favourites. A bee sees blue and purple colours best, so any flower that's blue or purple is going to be a big hit. And I've got some lavender here, and when it flowers it's going to look like this, and the bees absolutely love it. Smells amazing for us too. And um, next, a bee loves a daisy shaped flower because it looks a bit like a target. And this yellow part in the middle helps to guide them towards the nectar and the pollen that's there. This type of daisy is called marguerite, but any daisy shaped flower will do. Um, and then finally, I've got some ivy. And ivy's great because it stays green all year round and it flowers in the autumn, which is perfect if you want your bees to come and stop off and have a little snack later on in the year. Of course, if you wanted to, you could always take your favorite grown up to a garden center and see what packets of seeds are on offer. And quite often they have this little icon on them that will tell you if they're good for pollinators like our bees. Personally, I love growing plants from seeds and seeing them pop out all fresh and new from the ground, but it can take quite a long time for flowers to grow. So today I'm using pot plants. Whether you're starting with seeds or plants, now it's time to get them in the soil. So if like me, you're using plants in pots, you need to get them out. So take away any labels, and then you gently tip the plant upside down, give it a tap, and then you can just squeeze and twist the pot off. If you think the roots need a bit of a loosen, then you can give them a bit of a tickle just to free them up a little bit, and then place it in the pot where you think you want it to go. Now, if you're using a trailing plant like ivy, like I am, then you wanna make sure that that goes on the edge. Let's take that pot off and then place that about there. So Daisy, if you want to come just about here, like so, oh, that one came out easily. 
uh, tickle the roots, just loosen them a little bit and then place it in the pot where you want it to go. Make sure there's a bit of space between all of your plants too because you want to give them room to grow. And then when you're happy with the position, get some more soil, surround your plant and then pat everything down with your fingers. Oh, it's just started to rain. <laughs> well, that's too loud. Okay, so where were we? A bit more compost around the front just to tuck in the ivy. There you go, buddy. Right, they're in. Now they just need a bit of water. Remember to keep these plants watered along with any other pots and plants you might have because all of this is going to provide fantastic food for the bees. But like us, bees don't just need food, they need water too and that is where our shallow tray comes in. But I'm going to bring you a bit closer. Get your tray and then just push it into the compost at the front of the bee cafe and then take the stones that you had left over from earlier and place them just at the bottom of the dish. Okay. Once you've done that, you want to fill it just halfway with some water. What you've done is created a safe place for the bees to drink so they can stand on the stones and keep dry whilst they sip at the water. Then if you want to, get your recycled bottle caps and just push those into the compost as well. I think they look like stepping stones, which is quite sweet. But what you can do later on in the year is when your plants have stopped flowering, you can fill these with a mixture of sugar and water and it means your bees will continue to have something to eat. And there you go. Now we just need to find somewhere to put it. So with food to eat, water to drink and some sugary liquid to keep them going in the cooler months, this is the perfect one pot stop bee cafe. Uh, but don't be surprised if other insects stop by as well. In fact, if you want to attract butterflies, then you could always chop up some pieces of orange, their favorite, put them on skewers like I have here and add those to your cafe. And this is so much fun to make. If you have a go, then make sure you take some pictures and send them to me on social media. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for more bee videos. Stay curious and I'll see you soon. Bye. So good.